Le Grand Jury in Orange County is indicting a teacher tonight after investigators say she had sex with a student and recorded it. Court documents state Marie Jo Gordo was a teacher at an Orange County school. In September, a parent reported that her child had a sexual relationship with his former teacher. Gordo was the victim's eighth grade teacher in 2019. She resigned from the school in June of last year. Investigators went through the child's phone, finding more than two dozen videos showing the sexual activity. The child said it happened inside a vehicle and hotels throughout Orange County, Osceola, and Seminole counties between June and September of last year. Authorities arrested Gordo for sexual exploitation of children to produce child pornography. Yo, so we back in here for another edition of Your Mother. And this episode is probably going to be titled, Get, Let's Give Women Harsh Penalties or something to that fact. But I reported on the teacher in Albany, Georgia, black woman that touched on the kids, probably was sex in Jamar Quavius. I reported on numerous white women that have touched on kids within their community. And now it looks like a Hispanic woman in Central Florida is getting her gone. Now, like I said in the previous videos, I don't know what this epidemic of middle age or late 30 year old women prowling on 16, 15, 14 year old kids. I don't know what this is about. I really don't know what making all them damn videos was for. I probably watched some of them on Pornhub. I'm, I'm going to keep it 100. She probably one of them big booty ass Latinas that do anal. What I will tell you is I hope they lock her up under the prison. Now, considering this happened in 2023. It's just now coming to my attention in 2024. It says that she was jammed up around June of 2023. So she was out on bail for the last six months. Out on bail, fresh out of jail, California dreaming. And I guess she going to trial earlier this year, to which I hope they give her, what should be the penalty for sleeping with a minor and recording it? 50 years. I hope she get out when she 80. Not because I'm jealous, because I'm not. But because whether male or female, leave the kids alone. Especially, it says that he was 13. She clearly looks like she's about, from this picture right here, like she's early 30s. And, yeah, she knew what she was doing. Now, her name was Mary Jo, Mary Jo Gordo, which translates into Mary Jo Fat. <laughs> and we don't have no body shots on what she looked like, so she probably was thicklicious. But, in any event, that doesn't <clears throat> negate her behavior. And that's never good to mess with children. And we need predators like this off the streets. Like they don't need to get back on the streets. They need to be hidden in prison for, like I said, 30 to 50 years. Because not only was she sleeping with a minor, it'd be one thing if she worked at the Quickie Mark or she worked at Walmart or wherever. She was a lawyer. This woman is in a facility with nothing but a pool of children to pull from. And I think people like that are the most despicable kind next to people that have adoption centers or people that have foster parents, daycare workers, anybody that's around children that do this type of shit, they need to be extra penalties. It's like with a cop. If a cop kills somebody without provocation, they need extra time because you carry a gun, you know procedures and you know murder is wrong. So just like a cop, you are a teacher. You know messing with the children. It's not only against the law, it's against the code of conduct within the school handbook as an employee. So you need extra time, 20 years if you're a regular schmo, and another 30 years if you're a teacher or any type of person that's around children in a facility. That goes for coaches too, a little league. You ain't off the hook. That goes for therapists of Olympic athletes. All that, I need you to fuck off the streets. In any event, if you like this episode, subscribe, turn the notification on, like, comment, share, and I'm out. No.